Reverend Insanity Chapter 926 Refining Star Thought Immortal Goo Who Immortal Blessed Land Underground Cave The Blood Jai Forest had already spread out to an area of over 30,000 square meters. At the center of the Blood Jai Forest, the Blood Lingzhe shined with a dark red light, but currently the Light of Wisdom had already overpowered it. At this moment, Fang Yuan was bathed in the Wisdom Light Halo as he sat and concentrated. His expression was calm, he was like a statue, but his mind was working rapidly, countless thoughts were created and destroyed, they crashed into one another like a meteor shower or the eruption of a volcano. He grunted. Fang Yuan's body shook, he slowly opened his eyes. His mind, which was undergoing a storm made of thoughts, had returned to a peaceful state. He frowned, thinking deeply. Two streams of blood slowly flowed down from his nose. The immortal zombie body's blood was pale green, there was no warmth at all, it was icy cold. Fang Yuan indifferently cleaned up his nosebleed, he evaluated. It seems that the goo formation that I newly created still has many flaws. Ever since he had become a Wisdom Path Grandmaster, he had obtained countless inspirations. As for how to use Wisdom Goo more efficiently, he had many new ideas. This Goo formation was created by him not too long ago. Not long ago, he had a low Wisdom Path attainment level and could only use the Light of Wisdom directly. Now, with this Goo formation, he could intensify the rate at which his thoughts collided. Even though it could not raise the effect of his deductions, it could save him a lot of time. Wisdom Gu was rank 9, while Fang Yuan was merely a rank 6 immortal zombie, it was already very difficult for him to use the light of wisdom. This Gu formation could be considered a significant breakthrough. Furthermore, this Gu formation was not in its original state, it had been modified several times. The first few versions had all sorts of flaws, once the Gu formation even exploded inside Fang Yuan's body. When he used it this time, Fang Yuan withstood the backlash of the Gu formation and suffered a minor injury. The Gu formation still needs to be modified, but that is not key. Now, the difficult problem is the modification of the star thought immortal Gu recipe. Fang Yuan frowned even deeper. A few days ago, Blazing Heaven Demoness had recruited Fang Yuan. He used this chance to request the refinement of star thought immortal Gu to her. Both sides came to an agreement, Blazing Heaven Demoness was very generous about funding Fang Yuan. She provided the materials to refine Star Thought Immortal Goo for him, dispatching Bo Dan to send them over. These immortal materials were very precious. Not only were they expensive, if Fang Yuan had to collect them himself, he would need to expend a lot of time. Only Blazing Heaven Demoness, using her rank 8 cultivation level, her zombie alliance status, and her deep foundations could gather three sets of these immortal materials in such a small amount of time. Fang Yuan was well prepared, he naturally got to refining Gu. But he had tried three times consecutively and failed them all. Fang Yuan was mentally prepared in regards to failing. After all, he did not have the success Dao Mark from the Refinement Path Convention, this time, he could only rely on his own skills and luck. Relying on skill was easily understood, but why did he have to rely on luck? Looking at the example of Star Thought Immortal Gu, during the refinement process, there was a step that needed two immortal materials. He needed a portion of pale flame white bones and a portion of green beetle water lotuses, the former was a fire path immortal material, the latter was a water path immortal material. At this step, the two immortal materials have to be processed at the same time, fusing water and fire to create a clear liquid. But this step was very difficult. There were fire path Dao marks on the pale flame white bone and water path Dao marks on the green beetle water lotus. To process them and form the clear liquid, the fire path Dao marks and the water path Dao marks have to be equal in number. Even if they were not equal, the difference had to be very small. That was the only way the fire and water could cancel out each other. If one side was higher, more than the range allowed, the liquid would be extremely murky. This sort of murky liquid could not be used, but the liquid could not be stored for long, it needed to be refined right before use. 
Fang Yuan did not have a time path immortal goo to seal the state of the liquid. Thus, Fang Yuan had to create the liquid while refining immortal goo. And the difference in Dao marks was extremely subtle. Even if Fang Yuan focused all his attention and used his best methods, he could not inspect all of them, he could only estimate. Fang Yuan was not a fire path or water path goo immortal, he was already reaching the limits of his investigative abilities. Thus, the immortal goo recipe strictly stated the age of the green beetle water lotuses as well as the amount of pale flame white bones. But even so, even among green beetle water lotuses of the same age, they would have different water path dao marks on them due to the environment that they were in. If the pale flame white bones were damaged, there would also be fewer dao marks on them. All of the goo refinement materials met the immortal goo recipe's requirements after Fang Yuan checked them meticulously. But when they were used in practice, there was bound to be failure. To refine the clear liquid, there was luck involved in it. The entire immortal goo refinement process had many such examples like the fusing of water and fire. Succeeding once or twice was not difficult. The difficult thing was to succeed every single time. Thus, the success rate of refining immortal goo was extremely low. Many goo immortal went bankrupt trying to refine an immortal goo without success. Immortal goo were a huge boost to the goo immortal in all aspects. Because of the existence of heavenly tribulations and earthly calamities, goo immortals had an even more intense desire in regards to immortal goo. But in the history of goo cultivation, there were countless instances of immortal goo refinement failing, these painful experiences landed countless people in terrible straits. At present, many rank 6 goo immortals did not even have a single immortal goo. Goo immortals would rather attempt to capture wild immortal goo than take a risk and refine immortal goo themselves. Of course, there was another reason, refinement path attainment levels differed between goo immortals. Many goo immortals did not have the confidence to refine immortal goo themselves. Especially when it came to immortal goo with higher ranks, goo immortals would have even less confidence in refining them. In the past, even two venerables, Giant Sun and Thieving Heaven, had to ask Long Hair Ancestor to help them refine immortal goo and immortal goo houses. Fang Yuan was modifying the immortal goo recipe in this aspect. When he became a Wisdom Path Grandmaster, his star path attainment also rose to grandmaster level. This gave him the ability to modify the immortal goo recipe of star thought. Including this current deduction, he had already modified many aspects of the original immortal goo recipe. Eleven processes that were similar to this water and fire fusion had been taken out, they were replaced with more stable steps with higher success rates. Looking at the time, Blazing Heaven Demoness is about to send me the fourth set of Goo Refinement Immortal Materials. With Blazing Heaven Demoness funding, Fang Yuan's financial difficulties had been alleviated. Blazing Heaven Demoness had been wanting to attack Yu Lu Blessed Land, she was generous in allowing Fang Yuan to refine Star Thought Immortal Goo, she would not stop until he succeeded. But she was not easy to fool. If Fang Yuan wanted to use the excuse of failure to cheat Blazing Heaven Demoness and get the goo refinement immortal materials, he would not succeed. Even though Blazing Heaven Demoness agreed to fund Fang Yuan, they had made an agreement. All of the funded immortal materials would become Fang Yuan's debt towards her. Whether he succeeded or not in refining the immortal goo, he would need to pay her back later. The longer he dragged this on, the more interest Blazing Heaven Demoness would receive. If Fang Yuan successfully refines the immortal goo but fails to return her the sum in a hundred years, then Blazing Heaven Demoness would be allowed to take an immortal goo from Fang Yuan as compensation. If it were Shark Demon who gave this condition, Fang Yuan would not agree to it, he would propose one that suited his interests more. But this was the demanding and domineering Blazing Heaven Demoness. Fang Yuan also needed to refine Star Thought Immortal Goo as soon as possible, he could only agree to it. Thus, it was in no way suitable to cheat Blazing Heaven Demoness funding. Fang Yuan failed three times, the losses were all on him, he already owed Blazing Heaven Demoness a huge debt. Fang Yuan could clearly discern some of Blazing Heaven Demoness' plans. 
even if Fang Yuan could not repay his debt, with the wisdom path attainment that he displayed, Blazing Heaven Demoness could make use of it and force Fang Yuan to work for her. After all, wisdom path Gu Immortals were very rare. Those with Fang Yuan's level of attainment were extremely useful subordinates. If Fang Yuan succeeded in refining star thought immortal Gu, Blazing Heaven Demoness would be even happier because this would allow her to take down Yu Lu Blessed Land. The conclusion was that Blazing Heaven Demoness would only earn from this regardless of what happens. After failing three times, the pressure was all on Fang Yuan. According to my current situation, I can only do seven refinement attempts. Now I have already failed three times, I have four chances left. In terms of refining Gu, I have already reached the limits. I can only work harder in terms of luck. Fang Yuan thought it over. He had connect luck immortal Gu, he could forcefully link to other people's luck and boost his own luck. But there was a drawback with this. Even though Fang Yuan had connect luck, he did not have break luck along with it. He could only connect, but not break. If the target of his luck connection became unlucky, Fang Yuan would be implicated. Thus, Fang Yuan had chosen several targets earlier, these people had extremely powerful luck. They were moreover unceasing and would not fade or become bad over time. But these people were very rare in the entirety of the five regions, looking over his previous life, there were only so many of them. Fang Yuan calculated. The remaining ones have not been born yet. Among them, Song Yi, she had already killed the ancestor of Lai Zio Yao on the nameless island, there is no way he can be born now. The soonest and best target can only be Fairy Black Moon. Fairy Black Moon was very incredible. In Fang Yuan's previous life, she was the current generation fairy of Spirit Affinity House. She was one of the most outstanding characters in Spirit Affinity House. Her status was similar to Mo Yao in the past, or even higher. This was because in the 500 years of Fang Yuan's previous life, there was a great era of turmoil. The five regions were in unprecedented chaos, the appearance of dream realms broke the balance of the different forces, a new Gu cultivation path, dream path, was produced, everything hinted towards the emergence of great dream immortal venerable. In this great era, heroes emerged, conquerors surfaced, capable people were everywhere, dragons and snakes rampaged, all while Fairy Black Moon remained as the representative of Spirit Affinity House, one of the ten great ancient sects, she had incredible talent, it was surely first rate in the five regions. Furthermore, Fairy Black Moon led the central continent Gu Immortals to attack Imperial Court Blessed Land, she had outstanding achievements and incredible battle strength. Her methods were also profound. Ever since Fairy Black Moon emerged, she grew stronger with each battle, turning disaster into fortune, her luck had been very strong. She was indeed an ideal target for Fang Yuan's luck connection. Chapter 927 Fang Yuan's Opportunity Unfortunately, Fairy Black Moon wore a mask and had a mysterious status, I do not know her true identity. In my previous life, she was like a rising sun, she was dazzling and bright, there was no biography on her. Maybe she is still an ordinary disciple in Spirit Affinity House, or maybe she is the descendant of a Gu Immortal. In short, I have too little information, there is nothing I can search for about her. Since he could not find Fairy Black Moon, he could only look for other, inferior targets. These people were also very famous characters. But they only had strong luck for a period of time, it was not long-lasting. Several of them had large fluctuations, some even had great misfortune after a period of good luck, dying in the process. If I use connect luck on them, my luck can become very strong in the short run, I can surely refine star thought immortal goo successfully. But I do not have break luck, when they become unlucky, so will I. Sacrificing the long-term prospects for such small temporary gains, is it really worth it? Fang Yuan was hesitant. If he had break luck immortal Gu, this was not a problem for him. But whether he could obtain break luck in the future, Fang Yuan had no confidence in that. He was never a person who would do something in which he had no assurance of the outcome. Placing his hopes of success on pure chance, Fang Yuan would not do that. 
He was indeed willing to gamble and take risks, but he was actually very careful and meticulous at the same time. If not for that, he would not have gotten so far. Several days later, Blazing Heaven Demoness sent over sufficient immortal materials for him to refine Gu again. But Fang Yuan was no longer in the mood to refine Gu. He had just heard some shocking news. Not long ago, Northern Plains Zombie Alliance was infiltrated by old ancestor Zhu Hu. The latter went deep into Earth Trench and secretly ransacked many precious immortal Gu and immortal materials. If old ancestor Zhu Hu was not exposed, Zombie Alliance could only let this matter go. But the problem was, an intense battle caused old ancestor Zhu Hu's tracks to be exposed, Zombie Alliance had to make a response to this. Zombie Alliance was huge, it spanned across five regions, their territory had just been infiltrated and looted casually, how could they allow it? If they did not punish such wrongdoers, Zombie Alliance's reputation would suffer, their authority would be undermined and many forces would look down on them. How could they hold their ground in the Gu Immortal world and compete with other forces? Any organization's face represented a certain extent of benefits. Moreover, just now, old ancestor Zhu who was found in the immortal zombie graveyard. This greatly provoked all the Zombie Alliance immortal zombies, they burst into anger. Immortal zombies had a lot of Dao marks in their bodies, they were excellent Gu refinement materials. But an immortal zombie's immortal aperture was dead thus, they held their own bodies in high regard, this was the last bit of pride they had. Therefore, immortal zombies placed much more importance on their bodies than ordinary goo immortals. The immortal zombie graveyard was a place in zombie alliance that could not be defiled. But their sanctuary was ravaged by old ancestor Zhu Hu. Could they ignore this? Old ancestor Zhu Hu went overboard. This violates the bottom line of zombie alliance. It seems that he is taking a risk to refine immortal goo fortune rivaling heaven. He actually became a thief and personally stole immortal zombie bodies. Fang Yuan assessed. He thought about his previous life. In those 500 years, this did not happen. In my past life, Ma Hong Yun was alive and well, old ancestor Zhu who did not obtain him, of course he could not refine immortal Gu fortune rivaling heaven. It seems that now, because of my rebirth, everything is changing as my influence grows, old ancestor Zhu who was implicated by me. Old ancestor Zhu whose plight was a good thing to Fang Yuan. In Dark Flow Giant City, Yin Liu Gong, Dragon Commander Yi Cha, and Huang Quan Weng, these three rank seven immortal zombies were standing guard. How could they be old ancestor Zhu whose match after it happened, they could only watch as he flew away. This matter could not be ignored. The three immortal zombies could only seek help from Zombie Alliance's headquarters. Eastern Sea Zombie Alliance flew into a rage. They sent three rank eight immortal zombies, along with ten rank seven immortal zombies out to punish old ancestor Zhu Hu and protect their reputation. Among these three immortal zombies, one was Blazing Heaven Demoness. It was necessary for her to go. Why? because Blazing Heaven Demoness was the leader of the Northern Plains Zombie Alliance branch. She was supposed to be guarding Dark Flow Giant City. Once this happened, Blazing Heaven Demoness who was in Eastern Sea had to bear responsibility. When a mishap happened to Northern Plains Zombie Alliance, she had to return and fulfill her duty. Once Blazing Heaven Demoness leaves, the mission of taking down Yu Lu Blessed Land returns to Shark Demon and Sue Bai Men. Fate worked in mysterious ways, it really caught people off guard and went beyond anyone's expectations. Originally, Shark Demon and Su Bai Man had no more hope, but because of old ancestor Zhu Hu, Zombie Alliance had to focus on protecting its reputation. Thus, Blazing Heaven Demoness had to return to Northern Plains, and the ones left that were most suited to invade Yu Lu Blessed Land were Shark Demon and Su Bai Man. Ever since Blazing Heaven Demoness forcefully took over the mission of Yu Lu Blessed Land, Shark Demon and Su Bai Man had been having a hard time, everyone avoided them like the plague. But now, the situation was reversed after all, there was only one final round in Yu Lu Blessed Land, Shark Demon and Su Bai Man would prosper soon. 
With this change in circumstances, many Gu immortals came over to befriend them, to repair the cracks in their relationships that was created earlier. Shark Demon and Subai Man were sighing over the mysterious twists and turns in life. Fang Yuan had no time to care about their feelings. Shark Demon was angry at Fang Yuan for turning to Blazing Heaven Demoness so quickly in this invasion, he did not even invite Tai Bai Yun Sheng. Fang Yuan did not give a hoot. Invading Yu Lu Blessed Land would give him only a small portion of the rewards, it was far less important than Refining Star Thought Immortal Gu. And Refining Star Thought Immortal Gu was only the icing on the cake, it was less important than getting into Northern Plains Zombie Alliance. After all, since long ago, Fang Yuan had been wanting the inheritance in Northern Plains Zombie Alliance. That was the inheritance of an immortal zombie great expert, it would be extremely helpful to Fang Yuan in reviving from his zombie state. In his previous life, Northern Plains Zombie Alliance obtained this inheritance and gained a huge boost in strength, surpassing Eastern Sea Zombie Alliance for a period of time. Fang Yuan tried to disguise as immortal zombie Sha Huang in an attempt to make his way into Earth Trench and obtain the inheritance. It was a pity he failed. Feng Jiuji and the others ruined his plans. Left with no choice, Fang Yuan had to give up on it. There were many twists and turns along the way. He joined the Central Continent Refinement Path Convention. He invaded Yu Lu Blessed Land and even obtained two or three ways to revive from his immortal zombie body. However, his initial goal was still not achieved. Now, it was the best chance for him to make his way into Northern Plains Zombie Alliance. Before Fang Yuan had even made any request, Blazing Heaven Demoness had already requested Fang Yuan to go back to Northern Plains with her. In the letter, Blazing Heaven Demoness' attitude was still domineering as ever, and the reason she gave was also valid and enticing. Northern Plains Zombie Alliance was the base of Blazing Heaven Demoness, she had many immortal materials kept there, she could give Fang Yuan more attempts at refining star thought immortal goo over there. Or perhaps she was worried about letting Fang Yuan stay in Eastern Sea. After all, the five regions' regional walls were hard to pass. The higher the cultivation level, the harder it is to pass, the difficulty multiplied by several times. A hundred years ago, Blazing Heaven Demoness came to Eastern Sea from Northern Plains. Most of her wealth was expended as she even got heavily injured. She only recovered after recuperating for eight years. Now, facing a strong foe like old ancestor Zhu who, blazing heaven demoness was uncertain of how much time it would take to settle. Keeping Fang Yuan by her side was more assuring. At the same time, the wisdom path Gu immortal Zing Zhang Zai might provide blazing heaven demoness some help when dealing with old ancestor Zhu Hu. All in all, the chance that Fang Yuan had been trying to create and was waiting for had arrived. It was all thanks to old ancestor Zhu Hu getting discovered. Towards old ancestor Zhu Hu, Fang Yuan even felt a hint of gratitude. Several days later, northern plains in the deepest parts of Luo Po Valley. The atmosphere was tense. The five Gu immortals from Central Continent had solemn expressions as they looked at this inconspicuous place. After the battle had ended, only two people from Shadow Sect escaped. The Central Continent Gu Immortals who had come to Northern Plains in secret and were very confident had suffered heavy losses, only five were left now. To think that a thieving heaven demon venerable true inheritance was hidden deep within Luo Po Valley, Bu Fei Yan sighed. These last days they had taken control of Luo Po Valley and while being vigilant they made every attempt to save Feng Ji Ji, Ling Mei and Ao Zhu. In the end, they confirmed the existence of the thieving heaven true inheritance, but they could not enter. It is a pity that my sect has no understanding regarding the thieving heaven true inheritances. It is too difficult to enter, we cannot break in for at least two to three years, Hong Kai Ming said. He was the most skilled in goo formations among the five here. Now that ancient soul sex old oracle had died, Hong Kai Ming was most suited to speak in this situation. Not mentioning three years, the central continent immortals could not even wait for three months. In fact, it had been very risky to stay in Luo Po Valley these last days. 
After all, two Gu Immortals had escaped, what if they lured over other people, and attacked again? Actually, even if we know how to get in, we might not be able to save them. This is the arrangement of thieving heaven demon venerable after all. Lord Feng Ju Ji is so strong, yet he is still trapped inside without any commotion. It seems that it is very dangerous inside, if we go in, we might not survive. Kin Bai Sheng had planned meticulously to trap Feng Ju Ji in there. If we go to save him rashly, perhaps? The Central Continent Gu Immortals spoke. Their words contained deep meaning, their gazes were flickering uncertainly. The ten great ancient sects of Central Continent were all under heavenly court, but they did not coexist in harmony, they had incessant conflicts. If Feng Ju Ji, a one in a thousand years genius, were to die here, the other nine sects would heave sighs of relief. As for Ao Zhu and Ling Mei, they had immortal Gu, if they died here, Heaven's Envy Manor would lose its signature killer move Peerless Crescent Moon Slash. This was no small loss even to Heaven's Envy Manor which had a deep foundation. The enemy had left, the age-old inner conflicts between the ten great ancient sects of Central Continent had finally started to vaguely show themselves in these five immortals. We infiltrated Northern Plains to investigate the truth behind the collapse of 88 True Yang Building. Even though we took down Luo Po Valley, Old Oracle has died and Feng Ju Ji is trapped, we can only stop here now. That's right, after this battle, we have all suffered huge losses, we need to rest and recuperate now. In my opinion, we should hand over the information of what happened and the fruits of our investigation over to our sex, that is the most important thing. That makes sense, don't forget, we have captured Huey Feng Zai and the Immortal Goo House Dark Prison. These gains are all extremely valuable, we need to handle them appropriately. As they conversed, the Central Continent Five Immortals silently smiled internally. Why would they save Feng Jiuji? Save him so that he could suppress them. Save him so that he could get a share of the loot. But they were in the righteous path, they needed to act on the surface and not give others excuses to target them. Now that they had made enough excuses for themselves, the five Central Continent Immortals agreed on one thing to return to Central Continent as soon as possible. Chapter 928, Luck Path Backlash After passing the regional wall, the group from Eastern Sea finally reached Northern Plains. I am finally back. Fang Yuan sighed. He was disguised as Xing Yang Zai as he stepped on the grassland, his wistful sigh was not just an act. In front of him, blazing heaven demoness gaze flickered as she muttered softly, Yes, I'm finally back. She was more deeply moved than Fang Yuan. Even though Fang Yuan was a Northern Plains Gu Immortal, he only became an Immortal in Northern Plains, he was born in Southern Border. But Blazing Heaven Demoness was born and bred a person of Northern Plains after a hundred years, she was finally back. The five regions had varying terrains. Eastern Sea had endless mystical sea areas, Northern Plains was mostly flat and had countless grasslands, plains and mounds. Right now, Blazing Heaven Demoness had stepped into an infertile grassland. The yellow-brown soil only had a trace of greenery. But Blazing Heaven Demoness felt a strong sense of familiarity inside her. Apart from Fang Yuan and Blazing Heaven Demoness, the other Gu Immortals frowned slightly. They were Eastern Sea Gu Immortals, they felt curiosity yet unfamiliarity towards Northern Plains. Going from their homeland to another region, they felt a sense of ostracism inside them, they felt out of place from the environment that they were in. Among them, there were two immortal zombies with the strongest auras, they were both rank 8. These goo immortals from Eastern Sea were almost all immortal zombies, there were barely any living goo immortals. Including Fang Yuan and Blazing Heaven Demoness, there was a total of three rank 8s, six rank 7s, and four rank 6s. They were a powerful group, they had strength in numbers. Old Ancestor Zhu, whose actions had truly angered Eastern Sea Zombie Alliance, it sent out such a huge group to Northern Plains just to take revenge. However, all of the Gu Immortals were injured now. 
The Rank 6 Gu Immortals were lightly injured, the Rank 7s had more severe injuries and were in pathetic states, while the three Rank 8 Gu Immortals were weak and had damaged bodies, some were missing arms while others were missing legs. Their bodies were swaying in the breeze, as if about to fall over at any time. The edges of the five regions had regional walls, the one surrounding northern plains was the Licorice Regional Wall, and the one around Eastern Sea was the Blue Water Regional Wall. Because of the existence of regional walls, the five regions were isolated. Furthermore, the regional walls were bigger obstructions against stronger life forms. The difficulty of a rank 8 Gu Immortal passing a regional wall was innumerable times as hard as a rank 6 Gu Immortal. The Eastern Sea Immortal Zombies had to go from Eastern Sea to Northern Plains. They had to pass two regional walls. The three rank 8s were heavily injured, while four of the rank 7 Immortal Zombies died in the regional walls. In contrast, the rank 6 Gu Immortals faced less pressure. Among all of them, Fang Yuan had the easiest time. He had the lowest cultivation level at the bottom of rank 6 at the same time, he was also a Northern Plains Gu Immortal. When he entered Northern Plains from Eastern Sea, the Eastern Sea Regional Wall rejected him and pushed him out, while the Northern Plains Regional Wall welcomed him and drew him in. Using the same logic, among the three rank 8 immortal zombies, Blazing Heaven Demoness had the lightest injuries. Like travelers from a far returning home, Fang Yuan and Blazing Heaven Demoness received the warm welcome of Northern Plains. If not for the giant goo formation in Eastern Sea Zombie Alliance's headquarters, we would have to sacrifice at least one rank 8 immortal zombie and half of the rank 7s. Fang Yuan observed silently at the same time, he inwardly praised Eastern Sea Zombie Alliance's deep foundations. Before they left, dozens of immortal zombies in the Zombie Alliance headquarters activated a goo formation, causing an earth tide. Once in a while, an earth tide would generate in Eastern Sea. Drawing the force of the earth from deep within the sea trenches, a grand force would move the seawater and create an earth tide. An earth tide was extremely powerful, it could easily whip up giant tsunamis. When an earth tide rushes at the regional wall, the regional wall would become thinner as a result. Thus, every year during the earth tides, many Gu immortals from other regions would enter Eastern Sea. When Fang Yuan and the others set off, the earth tides were over already. To think that in Eastern Sea Zombie Alliance's headquarters, there was a method to create an artificial earth tide, weakening a portion of the Eastern Sea regional wall for a short period of time. If not for this, Fang Yuan and the others would have suffered greater injuries. What do we do now? After resting for a while, a rank 8 immortal zombie broke the silence. The other Gu Immortals were focusing their gazes on Blazing Heaven Demoness. Blazing Heaven Demoness was the leader of Northern Plains Zombie Alliance. Among the three Rank 8 Immortal Zombies, she was the strongest in terms of battle strength, thus she was primarily directing the group in this mission. Blazing Heaven Demoness did not hesitate, she smiled. According to a reliable source, Old Ancestor Zhu who has already returned to Snowy Mountain Blessed Land, we should not rush there, we should rest and recuperate and recover our battle strength, that is the best course of action. The immortal zombies nodded in agreement, there were no objections. They had just passed the regional walls, their battle strength had dropped to the lowest point, they needed to recover now. Blazing Heaven Demoness did not even go back to Dark Flow Giant City, she chose a hidden and secluded spot. The Eastern Sea Gu Immortals went into hiding as they recuperated. This was the same course of action as taken by the Central Continent Gu Immortals when they came. There was no other choice, the cost of passing the regional walls was too high. In snowy mountain blessed land, snow was falling. Three main peaks with countless branch peaks were situated like a colossal frost giant that was standing straight. Among them, the first main peak was tall and big. It was the residence of old ancestor Zhu Hu. Right now, in a certain room on the first main peak, a giant Gu formation was flickering with golden lights. Outside the Gu formation, there was an old man. It was old ancestor Zhu Hu. But at this moment, it was not him controlling the Gu formation, it was a female immortal. 
This female immortal looked like she was in her late twenties, she had a beautiful appearance and elegant disposition. It was the second leader of Snowy Mountain, Lady Wan Shu. Lady Wan Shu was old ancestor Zhu Hu's wife, she looked much younger than old ancestor Zhu Hu, but she was in fact much older than him. Lady Wan Shu once had a fortuitous encounter and obtained the inheritance of Gu Immortal Wang Ju. Not only did she obtain a few lifespan Gu, she also obtained many lifespan extension methods. These lifespan extension methods all had drawbacks compared to lifespan Gu. But lifespan Gu were extremely hard to find. Lady Wan Shu's lifespan extension methods were very popular with other Gu Immortals. During Lady Wan Shu's early days, many Gu Immortals had approached her, paying a huge price for her to extend their lifespans. In time, Lady Wan Shu helped more and more Gu Immortals, she had extended more than a thousand years' worth of lifespan. Not only did she receive countless cultivation resources, her strength also rose drastically, she built a strong network and was very popular. Many Gu Immortals needed her services, they naturally did not dare to offend her, they promoted her as her reputation soared far and wide. Lady Wan Shu was not only skilled at extending lifespan, she was also a refinement path quasi-great grandmaster, she was known in Northern Plains Gu Immortal world as one of the four refinement path experts. Quasi-great grandmaster, she was only a step away from great grandmaster level. In terms of refinement path, Fang Yuan could not compare to Lady Wan Shu at all. As for old ancestor Zhu Hu, he was an ice and snow path expert, he was also inferior in refinement path. Thus, whenever old ancestor Zhu Hu wanted to refine Gu, he would ask Lady Wan Shu to do it. But now, Lady Wan Shu was using this refinement path Gu formation not to refine Gu, but to temper an immortal material. This immortal material was dug out by old ancestor Zhu Hu from deep in earth trench inside the deepest part of the Zombie Alliance immortal zombie graveyard. It was palm-sized and was shining in purple gold light, it was like a rock. The refinement path Gu formation shined brightly and made great rumbling noises. A while later, the Gu formation settled down and the light also dissipated. The mysterious purple-gold rock that had turned completely red now cooled down quickly, it went back to its previous state. Old ancestor Zhu who looked at Lady Wan Shu with an expectant gaze, he was asking her wordlessly. Lady Wan Shu frowned slightly, she shook her head. Even you cannot tell what this mysterious purple-gold rock is, old ancestor Zhu who was surprised. This immortal material is truly extraordinary, I have already used my goo formation to its limits, but I could not refine it. This is the first time I've seen such a situation, I need to research it carefully. After saying this, Lady Wan Shu changed the topic. Dear, you were too careless, it would have been fine if you were not exposed when stealing immortal zombies. But now that you have exceeded Zombie Alliance's bottom line, they are sure to take revenge, you need to be careful. Old ancestor Zhu who nodded, he said heavily. This time, I was overconfident. My original plan was progressing smoothly, I almost looted the entire immortal zombie graveyard, but suddenly, a blazing glory lightning brilliance immortal zombie appeared. This is a superb immortal material for refining fortune rivaling Heaven Gu, I got too excited and tried to capture him. To think he had already set up a Gu formation in the graveyard, I was careless and could not conceal the sound of the battle. Thus Northern Plains Zombie Alliance was alerted. Oh, old ancestor Zhu who sighed deeply. Now that I think about it, it was likely the interference of fortune rivaling Heaven Immortal. Lady Wan Shu said in a heavy tone, Fortune rivaling Heaven Immortal Gu is rank 8, it is to be expected that you were influenced. This is the core Immortal Gu of Giant Sun Immortal Venerable. When I was refining Gu recently, I have been failing a lot too, it is likely the effect of Fortune rivaling Heaven Gu. But dear, just now, you have obtained a large number of Immortal Zombie bodies, the rate of Immortal Material Collection was raised drastically. As long as we can refine fortune rivaling heaven immortal goo, all of this would be worth it. 
Ever since old ancestor Zhu who bought Ma Hong Yun, he had been using the latter as the main material to refine the rank 8 fortune rivaling heaven immortal Gu. This matter was not advantageous to Ma Hong Yun. Thus, old ancestor Zhu Hu and Lady Wan Shu faced the backlash of fortune rivaling heaven immortal Gu. Not only them, many Gu immortals of Snowy Mountain Blessed Land had received old ancestor Zhu Hu's orders to collect immortal materials, but they constantly faced bad luck and many mishaps happened to them. Actually, previously, old ancestor Zhu Hu had already experienced a backlash from Luck Path. That was when Fairy Lai Shan had just obtained Minuscule Mountain, it attracted the attack of Yao Huang and Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu. But fighting both of them alone, old ancestor Zhu who forced them to retreat. Luck Path was not invincible by any means, old ancestor Zhu who used his immense strength to resist the backlash of Luck Path. Just now, it was a near-guaranteed success that he would steal the immortal zombie bodies, but due to the luck path backlash, he became careless and the matter was blown up. The more difficulties we face in refining fortune rivaling heaven goo, the more we can see the power of this immortal goo, and the more determined I am to refine it. Don't worry, I have already placed Dark Flow Giant City under close supervision, if anything happens, I will know immediately. We will resist whoever comes here, I want to see if Zombie Alliance can really invest so much into this. Old Ancestor Zhu who laughed, he displayed the dominance and ambition of a demonic path overlord. Chapter 929, Plotting Against Old Ancestor Zhu Hu The huge dark flow giant city was situation in a desolate land. Darkness loomed over it, the giant city was like a slumbering beast, quietly lurking. Ever since old ancestor Zhu who had ransacked the immortal zombie graveyard, Dragon Commander Yi Cha and the other two leaders had closed the entirety of Dark Flow Giant City, showing a defensive stance. Dark Flow Giant City was focusing on defense, no matter how other forces tried to probe it, they could only obtain a bit of information. When night came, Blazing Heaven Demoness led the other Eastern Sea Immortal Zombies and secretly returned to Dark Flow Giant City. Subordinates Yin Liu Gong, Dragon Commander Yi Cha and Huang Quan Wang Welcome Leader and both Lords, greetings to everyone. The three currently in charge of Northern Plains Zombie Alliance paid respects, they could not conceal the uneasiness and agitation in their expressions. Get up! You were facing old ancestor Zhu Hu, it was not your fault. Blazing Heaven Demoness said first. Yin Liu Gong and the other sighed in relief, their worries were eased. Their lives had been very difficult these last few days. On one hand, they were waiting for the reinforcements from Zombie Alliance's headquarters, but at the same time, they were worried about their responsibility towards this matter in terms of negligence. Old ancestor Zhu who was too arrogant, he has to pay the price, we of Zombie Alliance are not to be trifled with. Another rank 8 immortal zombie said. The surrounding immortal zombies looked at him in admiration, they quickly voiced out their agreement. This rank 8 immortal zombie was known as Corpse Detonation King, he was most skilled at using the smallest cost to ignite immortal zombie bodies and cause terrifying explosions. He had a bad temper and was ruthless when he passed the regional wall, he wantonly attacked allies who disagreed with him and killed them. Among the four rank seven immortal zombies that died, three were dead because of him. Their corpses were blown to bits, completely shattered, they created a huge explosion in the regional wall, which allowed Corpse Detonation King to advance forward. Leader, when are we counterattacking? When we attack, please let me be the vanguard. Yin Liu Gong and Huang Quan Wang saw the reinforcements from Eastern Sea and felt a strong sense of enthusiasm they requested to help. Blazing Heaven Demoness was not anxious, she said leisurely, This matter is very important, let's go look at the crime scene first, we need to collect evidence there. That's right, looking at these traces, we might be able to estimate some of old ancestor Zhu Hu's methods. Another rank 8 immortal zombie, Pu Wan Dao, nodded in agreement. Even though they were greater in numbers, they were all immortal zombies, compared to living Gu immortals, they had many drawbacks. 
Most importantly, the other party was not an ordinary person, they could not pressure him easily. This was someone who could fight both Yao Huang and Heavenly Lord Bai Zhu alone and force them back. He was a fearsome character, the publicly recognized number one demonic path Gu Immortal in Northern Plains Gu Immortal World. Next, the immortal zombies moved without pause, secretly going to Earth Trench and analyzing the battlefield. The battlefield was well preserved by Yin Liu Gong and the others. The immortal zombie graveyard was a mess, the surface was covered in large amounts of frost, some crevices even had some fire burning in them. Everyone displayed their abilities as they investigated. Fang Yuan was among them, but his mind was wandering. He gazed around, but his mind was elsewhere. He was looking for the treasure, but this treasure was not inside the immortal zombie graveyard, it was far deeper in Earth Trench. How can I obtain this treasure without anyone else knowing? I have a feeling this inheritance will surely be of huge help to me. Perhaps I will have to rely on it to get rid of my immortal zombie body and revive. Fang Yuan was becoming more excited about it. But currently it was a pity that he was unable to leave the group, he could only follow them as they left Earth Trench, returning to Dark Flow Giant City. After observing the battlefield, the immortal zombies' expressions turned very ugly. Even Corpse Detonation King and Pu Wan Dao had grim expressions. Even though they did not engage in battle personally, just looking at the traces left behind, they could estimate old ancestor Zhu Hu's immense power. But this made everyone feel that there was something strange, it was the person who could fight old ancestor Zhu Hu to this extent. Who is this person? With rank 7 cultivation level, he had outstanding battle strength, even already having set up a goo formation in the graveyard itself. They seem to be an immortal zombie as well, but why do I not have their details in my list of names? Blazing Heaven Demoness frowned deeply, she asked Yin Liu Gong and the others. Yin Liu Gong, Dragon Commander Yi Cha, and Huang Quan Wang smiled bitterly, they admitted blame in unison. We have failed our duties, we were kept in the dark and did not know that there was such a person hiding in Earth Trench. Blazing Heaven Demoness snorted coldly, her expression turned cold. Investigate, investigate thoroughly. I feel that this is not so simple. Old Ancestor Zhu whose appearance here can be explained. He needs to refine fortune rivaling Heaven Gu, but is lacking in immortal materials. But why did that mysterious immortal zombie appear in our Northern Plains Zombie Alliance graveyard? Looking at this situation, he had been here for a long time already. No need to investigate. At this time, the Rank 8 Gu Immortal Corpse Detonation King interjected. This person is a member of Zombie Alliance. We are here now to rescue him. Beside him, Pu Wan Dao added, Lady Blazing Heaven Demoness and everyone from Northern Plains Zombie Alliance do forgive us. This person is not ordinary, he is a ten extreme immortal zombie with outstanding battle strength. Because he is on a secret mission from Zombie Alliance, for his safety, he was kept hidden. Zombie Alliance's headquarters has sent down a top priority order, we have to work together to rescue this blazing glory lightning brilliance immortal zombie. It was like this. The immortal zombies showed looks of shock. Yin Liu Gong and the other two were slightly taken aback before their expressions turned grim. Dragon Commander Yi Cha cupped his fists at the people from Eastern Sea. I wonder what secret mission this blazing glory lightning brilliance immortal zombie was on, that he had to come to the highly important immortal zombie graveyard in our Northern Plains Zombie Alliance. Corpse Detonation King replied coldly, this is not something you are qualified to know. All right. Blazing Heaven Demoness stood up, she tried to ease the situation. Our enemy now is old ancestor Zhu Hu. Since that immortal zombie is one of us, we will save him as well. Yin Liu Gong and the others nodded in agreement. Fang Yuan watched coldly from the side. This secret was kept from even Blazing Heaven Demoness. She was, after all, a Northern Plains immortal zombie. Even though she had been in Eastern Sea for a long time, she was still isolated from the true core of Zombie Alliance. At the same time, Fang Yuan realized something. 
Zombie Alliance sent out so many people not only to teach old ancestor Zhu Hu a lesson, but they most importantly wanted to save this blazing glory lightning brilliance immortal zombie. Fang Yuan saw this interesting situation as he laughed internally. He he, if this blazing glory lightning brilliance immortal zombie was sent by Zombie Alliance's headquarters secretly as a spy to check on the Northern Plains branch, that would be amusing. Earlier, Dragon Commander Yi Cha was probably trying to ask about this. Lady Blazing Heaven Demoness, you are indeed a valuable member of our Zombie Alliance. If everyone else had your awareness and understanding, why would we have to worry about Zombie Alliance's goal of becoming the overlord of the five regions? Ha ha ha! Corpse Detonation King laughed loudly. Blazing Heaven Demoness was kept in the dark, she only learned about the true mission now. But she was a shrewd person, she did not show any displeasure, instead she said, Next, let us talk about how we will teach old ancestor Zhu Hu a lesson, and also save the blazing glory lightning brilliance immortal zombie. Corpse Detonation King immediately said, The blazing glory lightning brilliance immortal zombie's body has an abundance of fire path and lightning path Dao marks, he is extremely suited to be used to refine goo. We should not waste time, we should just approach him directly. Going right at him is just an act of a bore. Blazing Heaven Demoness rebuked, not giving Corpse Detonation King any face. Corpse Detonation King stared as he was about to say something, but Pu Wan Dao also supported Blazing Heaven Demoness. That is right, the other party captured the Blazing Glory Lightning Brilliance Immortal Zombie, he has a hostage. If we go there openly, even if we suppress old ancestor Zhu Hu, he will use the hostage to threaten us, we will be restricted and all our advantages would be lost. Then we will sneak into snowy mountain blessed land and save the blazing glory lightning brilliance immortal zombie, corpse detonation king said again. Blazing heaven demoness snorted. Outside Dark Flow Giant City, there are countless hidden investigators, some must come from Snowy Mountain Blessed Land. With just this, we can see how alert old ancestor Zhu who is, Snowy Mountain Blessed Land is sure to be heavily guarded. It is not realistic to sneak in, it is like surrendering ourselves to them. Of course, Corpse Detonation King, you are incredibly powerful and have amazing skills if you want to, you can go yourself. I am sure that with your strength, you will succeed. You, Corpse Detonation King was lost for words, he showed an ashamed and angry expression. Then, in your opinion, what shall we do? Pu Wan Dao placed his hand on Corpse Detonation King's shoulder as he asked Blazing Heaven Demoness with a sharp gaze. Blazing Heaven Demoness smiled proudly. Even though old ancestor Zhu who is strong and snowy mountain blessed land is heavily guarded, it cannot conceal his greatest weakness. Someone asked, Oh, what weakness? Blazing heaven demoness looked around as she said, Fortune rivaling heaven immortal Gu. Fang Yuan had no interest in dealing with old ancestor Zhu who, when the immortal zombies were discussing about schemes excitedly, he was thinking about how to get to the treasure deep inside Earth Trench. After an exchange of words, Blazing Heaven Demoness regained control as the first in command. The immortal zombies planned and arranged their roles. Blazing Heaven Demoness did not let Fang Yuan go with them, she gave him one mission only, that was to continue refining star thought immortal Gu. She even gave Fang Yuan a token, it provided him the highest representation of her authority. With this token, Fang Yuan could freely enter or exit Dark Flow Giant City, as well as the resource points that were controlled by Northern Plains Zombie Alliance. He could even enter the storage and use the precious immortal materials that were accumulated inside. As long as they were used to refine immortal goo, he just had to register what he took. The terms were relaxed, and in his favor, Fang Yuan could not help but be surprised by this. Does Blazing Heaven Demoness still want to take down Yu Lu Blessed Land? That is not possible. Not mentioning how long it would take to solve this issue with old ancestor Zhu who, now that Shark Demon and Su Bai Man have started invading it again, they are sure to make use of their time and invite Wisdom Path Gu Immortals to help regardless of the cost. 
but once I have star thought immortal goo, together with my wisdom path attainment level, I can deduce many things. Maybe Blazing Heaven Demoness wants to make use of my ability in this regard to deal with old ancestor Zhu Hu. Chapter 930 Creating a Chance to Enter Earth Trench Boom! There was a loud sound, but the power of the explosion, on the contrary, was not big. The endless starlight flickered leisurely in the secret room, like fluttering butterflies. Looking at such a beautiful scene, Fang Yuan's expression was very unsightly. Failed again. This time, the refinement of star thought immortal Gu did not even progress to one-third. Fang Yuan exhaled and waved his sleeve, immediately everything was cleared, the starlight disappeared without a trace and the large secret room once again recovered its tranquility. This was a secret room in Northern Plains Zombie Alliance. Fang Yuan had obtained enough immortal materials here thus, he made another attempt at refinement, but tasted the bitterness of failure once again. Despite using Immortal Killer move time assist luck before refining every time, the effect is not much. In terms of connect luck, there are no suitable targets. Forget it, I have already showed enough efforts on the surface, now I should try to enter deep into Earth Trench and get that inheritance. Fang Yuan naturally wanted to get the inheritance as soon as possible, but in many matters, haste was waste. If he did not refine Star Thought Immortal Goo and just tried to go into Earth Trench hurriedly, it would no doubt be exposing his intentions. It would be easily seen through, this naturally could not be allowed. Although Fang Yuan entered Northern Plains Zombie Alliance, the current problem was he did not have freedom and was strictly guarded by two immortal zombies. Fang Yuan understood that he was being monitored. After all, he had failed many times in refining the immortal goo and owed Blazing Heaven Demoness a huge amount. If he was not monitored and ran away, what would she do? Even though when they had set the agreement, Blazing Heaven Demoness had used information path methods and both sides were restricted by immortal killer moves. But at Blazing Heaven Demoness level, as the saying goes, the more aged and experienced a person is, the less recklessness they have, the more knowledge they have, the more careful they are. Who could be certain if Fang Yuan did not have a way to break the restrictions? And Fang Yuan indeed did. His previous life's memories gave him knowledge of many methods that could break immortal level restrictions of information path. But he did not have relevant immortal goo, so at present, he did not have the ability to break the restrictions. Moreover, he sincerely wanted to refine star thought immortal goo, thus he was cooperating with blazing heaven demoness. But now, his even more wanted to secretly take that inheritance. During these last days in Dark Flow Giant City, Fang Yuan tried refining star thought immortal goo to make blazing heaven demoness feel at ease, while secretly gathering information and making preparations for when he made a move. Compared to previously, Dark Flow Giant City had already opened its city gates, resuming its dealings with the outside world. The immortal zombies' morale gradually started rising, and they were in high spirits. Blazing Heaven Demoness led the experts to deal with old ancestor Zhu who, using a rather intelligent strategy. She did not attack directly, instead exploiting old ancestor Zhu Hu's greatest weakness. What was old ancestor Zhu Hu's greatest weakness? Almost all Northern Plains Gu immortals knew. That was fortune rivaling Heaven Gu. Old ancestor Zhu Hu was wholeheartedly trying to refine fortune rivaling Heaven Gu, but he severely lacked immortal materials even though he already had Ma Hong Yun, the main material, this concerned rank 8 immortal Gu, he needed to prepare many sets of materials and do everything to maximize the possibility of success. Thus, his requirements towards immortal materials were extremely huge. Those demonic path goo immortals of Snowy Mountain Blessed Land were already endlessly at work from old ancestor Zhu who they were in constant torment in order to find the materials. Even old ancestor Zhu who let go of his status and personally sneaked into the immortal zombie graveyard in Earth Trench like a two-bit thief. This showed old ancestor Zhu whose extreme desire towards immortal materials. 
Blazing Heaven Demoness used this point to actively deploy and transfer experts to deal with those demonic path do immortals of snowy mountain blessed land in particular, using ambushes, plots, wrecking plans and various other strategies. These demonic path Gu immortals already had enough pain as it was when gathering immortal materials, now that they suffered the backlash of luck path, the immortal zombies had a high success rate every time they moved against them. As these attempts continued to succeed many times, Snowy Mountain Blessed Land's morale unavoidably fell, while Zombie Alliance's morale gradually rose, sweeping away the previous dejectedness. Fang Yuan opened the door to the secret room with an ashen expression. Two rank six immortal zombies were standing guard at the entrance. Seeing Fang Yuan, an immortal zombie called Dr. Yin Xuan immediately bowed, Sir, you have come out. I wonder if this refinement. Fang Yuan gave a grunt, waving his hand in irritation, don't bother me. Saying this, he walked away. HMPH, who does he thinks he is, to be so arrogant in our base? The other immortal zombie, Landlord Lei Yu's eyes flickered with ominous light as he looked at Fang Yuan's receding figure. However, Dr. Yin Xuan did not care about being ignored, brightly smiling as he followed closely behind Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan walked ahead, taking a left turn and then a right, arriving in front of a hall. This was the biggest immortal material warehouse in Dark Flow Giant City and was personally watched by an immortal zombie. Seeing Fang Yuan as well as Dr. Yin Xuan and Landlord Lei Yu, the immortal zombie in charge familiarly nodded towards them, knowing Fang Yuan was here to get immortal materials. He handed an information path Gu Worm to Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan held the Gu Worm and pretended to inspect the immortal material list inside while plotting inwardly. Blazing Heaven Demoness, Corpse Detonation King and Pu Wan Dao have already left Dark Flow Giant City two days ago to target the Daimonic Path, Gu Immortals of Snowy Mountain Blessed Land, and have not returned until now. This is an opportunity, I need to take advantage of it. Right at this time, the immortal zombie managing the warehouse enthusiastically spoke, Sir Zing Zhang Zai, you can take any immortal materials you want. Leader has already informed us, and you only need to register the items. You don't need to have any worries. Who knew that right as he finished speaking, Fang Yuan stared at him with a fierce look. What worries would I have? Why would I have any worries? I am good. Fang Yuan looked like a mess with his hair and clothes in disorder and also very agitated. One look at this appearance, and the managing immortal zombie knew Fang Yuan must have failed the refinement. This immortal zombie was dazed for a moment before thinking, Serves me right, why do I have to shoot my mouth off? Whether his refinement succeeds or fails, what has it got to do with me? At once, he kept quiet to prevent any further issues. However, Fang Yuan was not willing to let go. He crushed the information path Gu Worm and walked away with his head low and hands behind his back. He was grumbling, Damn it, why is it still not working? Why is it always a failure? I have already failed four times, why is it like this, why? Dr. Yin Xuan and Landlord Lei Yu looked at each other and both sensibly stayed away from Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan, however, became more restless and started swearing while clenching his fists, his words were extremely vulgar and occasionally, he mumbled incomprehensible words. Dr. Yin Xuan tried his best to differentiate them, but he could only make out some fragmented contents. Do I really have to use that method? No, the price is too high. Damn it, this damned immortal goo, why am I not succeeding? Fang Yuan revealed hesitation, seemingly having to make an extremely difficult decision. His eyes were very red, giving the impression of a gambler who had already lost most of his assets, but decided to go all in to win back the losses. Screw it, I will stake it all. This time, it will definitely succeed, definitely. Right, it will succeed. The three immortal zombies watched on indifferently and as they looked on at Fang Yuan's restlessness, the disdain and hate in their heart disappeared slightly, replaced by a trace of pity. Many Gu immortals had faced such a situation. To refine an immortal Gu, 
They paid a huge price, but they end up making no gains and might even lose all their wealth. It was like stepping on a road of no return, looking at the dozens of years of accumulation and even hundreds of years of resources go to waste, it was unavoidable for them to become irrational and chase after success, unable to turn back, walking further and further on the road of failure. Fang Yuan suddenly stopped and turned around, looking at Dr. Yin Xuan and Landlord Lei Yu. I have decided you two pack up and follow me into Earth Trench. Fang Yuan's words gave a huge shock to the three immortal zombies. Entering Earth Trench, Dr. Yin Xuan's expression changed. Earth Trench was a dangerous place with ferocious beasts roaming around and perilous terrain who knew how many lives have been buried there. Blazing Heaven Demoness had ordered them to monitor Fang Yuan. Naturally, it also meant they had to guard him. Hearing Fang Yuan suddenly speak of entering Earth Trench, how could Dr. Yin Xuan agree? Landlord Lei Yu also did not agree, saying firmly, We will gather any immortal materials you require, sir. You don't need to take the risk. What do you understand, huh? Fang Yuan raised his voice, his gaze revealing an arrogant look. Both of us have received leader's command to ensure your safety, sir. Sir, if you enter Earth Trench and something happens, how can we explain it to leader? Please don't make it difficult for us. Dr. Yin Xuan gave a bitter smile, requesting earnestly. Why would Fang Yuan care about his sincerity? He raised his arm and roared, What does your difficulty have to do with me? I only care about refining goo, I only know I need Earth Shell Snail Star Night Mucus. Earth Shell Snail Star Night Mucus? Sir, please hold on, I will check. Dr. Yin Xuan immediately said. He also had information path goo worms on him, which contained the records of most of the immortal materials in Zombie Alliance. Soon, Dr. Yin Xuan showed a joyous look as he retracted his consciousness. Earth Shell Snail Mucus is the fluid left behind by the desolate beast Earth Shell Snail as it slowly crawls on the ground. We have it, we have it. Currently, in warehouse number 6, there are 2 to 3 in stock, will they be enough? If they are not, we will immediately issue a task and summon immortal zombies to gather them. Fang Yuan bellowed furiously, scolding while pointing at Dr. Yin Xuan's nose. Have you become deaf or is there a hole in your brain? Didn't you hear what I said? Earth shell snail star night mucus. Star. Night. Mucus. Not ordinary mucus, do you understand? He then hurriedly continued. Earth shell snail mucus needs to be sealed and stored within ten breaths of time, otherwise the fluid will dry up and lose its effect. Star night mucus is produced by using my special methods to process the ordinary mucus on the spot. The processing requires seven breaths of time, and even if the processing is complete and star night mucus is produced, its sealing process is complicated and needs to be finished within three breaths. So I need to enter Earth Trench, can you do it without me? If you can do it, I will eat my hat. Ah, for a moment, Dr. Yin Chuan and the others choked on their words, unable to retort to Fang Yuan's scolding. 